Connor and I are here right now in one of the most haunted hotels here in New York City, New York, Hotel Chelsea. Oh, 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 oh. Satanic. What the no. f was that? Tonight on ABC 17 News, in a shocking turn of events, the city of New York has been overrun by the ghosts of dead New Yorkers. At the moment, hundreds of spirits and demons are wreaking havoc on the city, taking a giant spectral bite out of the Big Apple. It seems as though there are only two men that can save us, but where are they? Connor, we gotta go. There's a report of Slimer being seen at the Chelsea Hotel. We gotta go. Come on, man, I really gotta bust! Oh my god. <laughs> Ghost, 100 degrees starboard. <laughs> oh shit, man, we really gotta go. It's time to bust some ghosts. Busting makes me feel Let's do it! <laughs> My name's Nick Ferrara. I'm the owner of the Ecto 1 NJ, uh, the closest replica to the original Ecto 1 uh, from the 1984 film Ghostbusters. So it is a 1959 Miller Meteor Cadillac, uh, just like the movie. Uh, this original version was a Landau, which was a funeral coach, uh, which had some sheet metal in the back. Uh, had to find a donor car to cut out the, the glass in the frame uh, because the movie car was a Futura duplex, which was a combination ambulance funeral coach. Wow. Uh, so that's the only difference. Everything else is as screen accurate as you can. That's crazy. I mean, it really does look like it's straight out of the movie. <laughs> Which is funny, it is. So Essentially, it, it is. You know, it's crazy. I was looking for this car for about eight years. Now, I bought it as a funeral uh, you know, coach and then transformed it to what you see here. But I, I got this at a steal. It was uh, garage kept since the 70s, 27,000 wow. original miles. Wow. Uh, honestly, the guy was selling uh, a car collection for a gentleman who got ill, and he didn't even know he had it. You know, he put it up on eBay. I talked to my soon-to-be wife. Uh, I'm like, what do you think? She's just like, just do it. So that's California, the rest is history. And he said, we can do the wedding now, or we can do it later. <laughs> so yeah, it's, so it's funny because at that point, you know, she wasn't my fiance, but it, this car made its debut at my wedding. So really? it, it was finished. The first version of this was finished two weeks before my wedding, and that's where it made its debut. So the photographer commonly referred to us as the Ghostbusters wedding. So, I love it. Yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> hey, listen, you know. So, uh, so yeah, everything on the exterior is as screen accurate as the '83, '84 car. And then inside, one of the coolest things for me is one driving the car it never gets old. But to be able to give people that experience too, I wanted to do that. So the original movie car has a jumper seat. Uh, we have some oscilloscopes and things that pay homage to the original car, uh, just to give it that feel. But that's the cool thing for me is that I can deliver that feeling that I get every time I drive to other people. We're going to be running uh, something I'm calling ghost tours this uh, this coming fall, like true ghost stories. I know you guys are more of the ghost hunter type as opposed to the the movie version, but uh, I want to kind of fuse that together and really give some people a Ghostbusters experience. I don't know. Well, I do feel like I'm ready to bust some ghosts. Oh, yeah. hey, let's, this. hey, bust <laughs> makes me bust feel makes me feel great. Oh, yeah, wait, <laughs> you guys want to run some light? Red lights, let's do it. Uh, uh, they're about to start doing ghost tours. If you are in the New York City area, you want to go on a Ghostbusters ghost tour in the Ecto-1. Yeah, definitely. Follow us on Instagram. It's uh, Ecto-1 underscore NJ, E-C-T-O-1 underscore NJ. Send us a message. Uh, we'll be running them September and October. Uh, it's going to be a good time, I promise you. It will not let you down. I mean, this is going to be the coolest car that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, honestly. Holy shit. Anybody that is in love with the paranormal field knows this car. Knows and being able to do a ghost tour in the city of New York where Ghostbusters was filmed, I mean, you can't get a better experience than this. My greatest city, greatest movie car. My, I kind of back what you just said. Ghosts? Yeah. Ghosts? <laughs> Ghosts? <laughs> and, and, and you know what? Even though Ghostbusters was uh, uh, just a movie, I think the hardcore fan base just loves that occult, the, oh, that portion of it. Oh, yeah. Right? There's, sure. there's that mystery of afterlife and what's next and that draws 
people to not just the movie, the car, but everything else that goes with us. And we're here at Hook and Ladder. Yeah. You want to kind of just tell us about where we're at? Yeah. So, tell people online. So we're down on North Moore Street, uh, which was the exterior focus of the Ghostbusters Firehouse from uh, both the first two movies. Uh, so yeah, they actually, as we were talking, they turned the light on for you. Oh, I had seen that. Go. So uh, yeah, Sony put that out there. Uh, we were here uh, about a month ago uh, for some of the filming on the uh, Firehouse. They have the stunt car, got a bit of a bigger engine than mine, LS <laughs> engine in there. They were ripping it down the streets. So uh, it was pretty cool. You know, I'm 37, so th to be able to see them filming a new Ghostbusters movie in New York City at the Firehouse was pretty surreal. Hopefully so, we can find some ghosts. Uh, right? Listen, I hope you find as many ghosts. I mean, we have the containment unit of the equipment right here. Yeah, we might have to load some stuff in. No there. problem. Yeah. Listen, I, we're going to be on call for later tonight. We got buddy. traps for days. Don't worry about it. We got whatever you need. Good shit. <laughs> now, let me ask, are you prepared for demons? Poltergeist, demons, Everything. anything. This is can, I can the containment unit handle a demon? Absolutely. We got our ghost sniffer on top. The radome, all the equipment to find uh, those, you know, pretty pesky poultry guys, everything. We're ready to go. I guess we're set, man. We don't mess around. I think we're ready. It's time to bus. <laughs> Let's Ghost get bus. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say that. <laughs> The car just broke down. That's the way. This is the door. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we got into the Ghostbusters car just now and it broke down. Hey, you guys want to give me a hand? Push it in. Yeah. Alright, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Are we on the brakes or what? Of course this happens to us. Unlucky. Oh no! <laughs> Damn, we can't bust any ghosts tonight. Fortunately, it looks like they've put a pause on the ghost busting <laughs> until we get to the hotel. Never pause on ghost busting. No, we are always but we busting. always do. Yes. And we're ready to believe, believe you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so the Ghostbusters have been grounded here. At <laughs> so we're trying to get this. I mean, how often do you see the Ghostbusters car broken down in New York City? Not often. Not often. <laughs> It's a good start to our night, I guess. We might be talking to something powerful. Okay, seriously, who are we gonna call? Not the Ghostbusters, because their car's broken down. <laughs> so we're here right now in Ecto-1. Let me tell you. Oh, slime Sorry. roller! I got quick, slime! Quick, get the packs! <laughs> this is luxurious. I didn't know Ghostbusters had a private chauffeur. Let's go. This is fucking awesome, man. <laughs> I will say this is one of the coolest experiences of my life. Let's let's think of some one-liners. You guys have any ideas? Back off, I'm a scientist. Don't be silly, get slimed. I just watched uh, Ghostbusters for the first time not that long ago, so I have nothing in me. I really don't uh, think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, you joke. <laughs> hey, well, the other day I was driving home. This is a funny story, actually. I picked up a hitchhiker and I went home and my wife Courtney said, why would you pick up a hitchhiker? You know, it could have been like a serial killer or something. And Good you know point. what I told her? What are the odds of two serial killers in the same vehicle? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that <laughs> flopped, dude. Holy shit. I forgot you told me that joke the other day and I just forgot that it was funny. What are these, x-ray goggles? I think so. Hey, I got a wife! <laughs> Alright man, I've heard a lot of reports that New York City is super haunted. Me too. We even heard that there's a spotting of Slimer at the Chelsea Hotel tonight. We've been busting ghosts for a while now, and we've never had something like this. We even have our own Ecto-1 vehicle. I think we need to trap some ghosts tonight. New York City's got a problem. Yeah, I mean, they've dealt with so many spirits and specters over Radio, there. Radio, so... come in Ecto-1. Wait, do you hear that? Colin Connor, we need you down at the Chelsea Hotel. Now, bring your gear. We gotta get to the hotel. It's a world-famous New York City establishment with an almost magical place in entertainment history. 
There's a building in Manhattan like no other in the world where Mark Twain slept, Madonna posed, and Jimi Hendrix roamed. Welcome to the Hotel Chelsea. The Hotel Chelsea, otherwise known as the Chelsea Hotel. For more than a century, it's been a wonderland destination for celebrities and visionaries. Here, the rooms come with a view. This room, we've been told that Marilyn Monroe stayed here. That stretches the imagination. Walking through the halls, you can still feel the history. It's always represented a place where you can be anyone you want to be. If you say you're an artist, you are an artist, and everyone is accepted equally. And an urban utopia is how it began when the Chelsea opened in 1884. The whole idea for the Chelsea Hotel really is rooted in French philosophy. Yes, it is. The philosophy of a man named Charles Fourier. And what he thought was that society should be used to facilitate pleasure in life and to liberate people to have as much free, creative time as they liked. And it was cheap. And it was cheap. Consider the list of luminaries. Andy Warhol, Sarah Bernhardt, Jackson Pollock. Mark Twain would hold forth in the dining room of this hotel. He hid from creditors. Yes, <laughs> this was a time when he owed a lot of money. Singer-songwriter Leonard Cohen lived at the Chelsea. So did Janis Joplin. They met in the elevator. And then they fell into bed together. And then they fell into bed together. Patti Smith and Robert Maplethorpe. Yes, they struggled here when they had absolutely no money. There were dark days, too. Punk rocker Sid Vicious was charged with killing his girlfriend, Nancy, in a first-floor room. Not long after, he died of a drug overdose. Today, the Chelsea is beginning a new chapter. This is a reproduction. Sean McPherson is one of the developers turning the landmark building into a luxury boutique hotel. I think the first responsibility is just to try not to mess it up and try not to corporatize it and try not to sanitize it and try to let it be what it always was and try to really restore it and treat it with reverence. Under McPherson's direction, the years-long renovation uncovered some original features like this ceiling. Is this all original artwork? It all came with the hotel. It was collected over decades. Most of it was traded for rent. It's not just the artwork that will stay. So will longtime residents like Gerald DeCock. Oh, I love your door. Thank you. Thank He's you. one of 45 residents who has called the Chelsea home for some time. He's transformed his small loft apartment into a technicolor jewel box. Everywhere you look, you know, it's a different scenario going on. And a different color. It is a magical place. Yeah, who doesn't want to live in a magical place, you know? This bohemian mecca has, and it seems always will, continue to inspire, to represent something much more than an address. How would you describe the Chelsea's place in American culture? It's hard to imagine what American culture would be like if we hadn't had the Chelsea. It's an enormous factory of creative thought. It processes them and it, it disseminates them through America and the world. So here in the Hotel Chelsea, there is a lot of very interesting history. One of the craziest stories that, in my opinion, I'm thinking about when we're entering and investigating this hotel is the story of Sid Vicious and his girlfriend, Nancy. Now, if you know who Sid Vicious is, he played in the band The Sex Pistols. They're a very, very famous punk band. And it was in this very hotel where Sid and his girlfriend, Nancy, shared an apartment. Now, this story is tragic. Sid supposedly ended up murdering Nancy and that murder took place right here on this floor, the first floor of the Hotel Chelsea. Now, Sid would eventually die of a heroin overdose, but it was Nancy's tragic death that got him into legal trouble and also fast forward in his tract of life. It was also on this floor where a woman saw the severed head of a ghost. She looked in the mirror of her hotel room and she saw a severed head in what she described as theater makeup. So I don't know what the hell that would be, but this floor is one of the most haunted. I mean, just take a look at this. The room numbers have all been changed. So the Sid and Nancy room is now broken up into two rooms. I believe it's one of these right here. But I mean, look at it. Sid Vicious and Nancy. It's a story I've heard about my whole life and it took place right here. Now let's go check out another haunted floor. This is the third floor of the Hotel Chelsea. And this floor is reputed to be one of the most haunted in the entire hotel. Now guests regularly experience phantom specters in their rooms. They'll hear noises. They'll hear screaming from the hallways. Their lights will flicker on and off. 
But one of the most interesting tidbits of history comes from a person named Club Kid Christina. Club Kid Christina was an infamous figure. She was well known around the United States and she actually had a room here at the Hotel Chelsea. Now, unfortunately, Christina passed away in her room when she was partying one night and her body was not discovered until five days after she died. So yes, she was alone in her room. Her body was decomposing and they didn't find her until five days later. So people think it could be Christina's spirit that inhabits this floor or the ghosts of the many other people that have lost their lives here in the hotel. Let's go check out another floor. We're now on the second floor of the Hotel Chelsea, another floor that's rumored to be extremely haunted. It was here on this floor that writer Dylan Thomas was staying in the days before his death. Now. He was a heavy drinker. Dylan Thomas was a very famous author in his time. And just a few days after he got sick here in the Hotel Chelsea, he was taken to the hospital and pronounced dead from pneumonia. So they don't know if what happened to him had something to do with his stay at the hotel, if he had died from alcohol poisoning, if it was a sickness. It's kind of a mystery, but people have seen Dylan Thomas in the building. And that severed head that we were talking about earlier, it was supposedly the head of author Dylan Thomas floating in somebody's window dressed in a garish makeup. So, I don't know, all these floors are creepy, but none of them are as creepy as floor number five. I think we should go take a look, brother. <laughs> Welcome to the fifth floor of the Chelsea Hotel. This is a very infamous floor because of one of the things that happened here. So, back in the 1920s, a woman took her own life but she didn't just take it in a simple way. Before she jumped out of a window here on the fifth floor and landed on the pavement below, she actually severed her own hand and left it on her bed inside of her room for her daughter to find. No one knows exactly why she left the hand, but her spirit has been seen roaming these hallways. And let me tell you, I've never heard of a story like that. That is very bizarre, but the stories of death and destruction at the Hotel Chelsea do not end there. For example, there was a woman in the 1920s who took too much sleep medication and died of an overdose. Some people claim that she took her own life, others say it was an accident. There's also the story of a man who was robbed and blew his brains out in his room here. There was also a woman who survived the sinking of the RMS Titanic. Yes, the Titanic. She was so depressed after surviving that horrific incident that she came to this hotel, took a noose, and hung herself in the room. Her spirit is said to be roaming around these halls. There's also composer Virgil Thompson who died here in the hotel, and a man named Billy Maynard who was a famous photographer in his day who was beaten to death inside of his room at the hotel. I've been to a lot of haunted hotels in my day and a lot of historic hotels, but I don't think I've been to one with as much bizarre and dark history as the Hotel Chelsea. This place is loaded with history. And that's just the bad stuff. There's a lot of good history here too, like the fact that Bob Dylan wrote infamous songs here. People like John Lennon and other musicians came here to write ballads. Stories were written here, movies were written here, Madonna took an infamous set of photos here. I mean, this hotel is the pinnacle of New York history. But sadly, with all good history comes the bad. And for some reason, this place has always been a beacon for the darkness. I don't know why, but these events are mysterious, they're dark, and they keep happening here. And nobody really knows why. So at this point, I think we need to don our proton packs and get up to the 10th floor and begin investigating to see if we can contact one of the undead residents of the Hotel Chelsea. Let's do this, man. I'm excited. So we've gotten reports right here in the Hotel Chelsea that there's an evil entity in this room, 10W. Now, as you know, we're the Ghostbusters, and I'm just gonna break canon for a second. Connor and I are here right now in one of the most haunted hotels here in New York City, New York, Hotel Chelsea. Right now, we have one of the biggest rooms in the hotel and a room that's rumored to be haunted. I mean, there are so many spirits here. The spirit of a woman who took her own life, the spirit of a murder victim, the spirit of punk rocker Sid Vicious. I mean, there are so many ghosts here, but if you haven't noticed, we are going all out with the Ghostbusters theme. And we even have right here, oh shit, look at, oh my God. Oh, my strong reading at our door. This is one of the, this is the K2 device from the movie. We've set some devices up right now. I think it's time that we go bust these ghosts. Busting makes me feel great. I'm about to bust. <laughs> We're both about to bust. Okay. You ready?
EMF signal died down the moment we came in. REM pod going off though up there. Look at this freaky little dude on the door. Oh! oh. We got REM activity. Shannon, this isn't good. Crazy amount of EM energy in this room. I won't lie to you guys. Look at that. Oh, look at this little dude. Ugh. What the hell's wrong with that guy? I want to see him in tonight. Like you and you wake up. <laughs> All right. To any ghosts or ghostly beings in this room, we demand you come and speak with us tonight. Right there. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, right above the fireplace. Oh! That red box going off, too. Right next to the music box, there's somebody standing. Are you over here? Hello, ghosty. Presence has been detected. Here in the master suite, my sweet little spirit. Oh, right here. Ooh. Oh, strong signal, Shannon. These are very strong signals. Look at that. Is there anybody oh, here right with here. us? It's right here, Connor. Look at this thing. It's right here. I think it's connected to the painting, maybe. Are you connected to this eerie painting? Oh. oh. Who the hell is this? Why does it look like they're burning in hell? Isn't it ominous? No? What do we have in here? Oh my god. A very fancy closet. Holy fuck! These people know how to live it up. Let's go. Come on, love you. By the way, we rented a much cheaper room and we got upgraded to the thousand dollar suite at the last second when we got here, so. Special thanks to the Hotel Chelsea. Thank you, Hotel Chelsea. But there is a presence throughout this entire room. Look at that. That is freaky. Wow. Is there anybody here with us right now? The residents of this hotel in New York City are afraid. We gotta bust these ghosts. Yeah, we gotta figure out what the hell's going on here. We got some special tools for this hunt. First of all, there seems to be a spirit over here. Check that out. Are you over by the fireplace? Ooh, you hear that? Yeah. Oh, by the fireplace. So you are over there by the fireplace. So on tonight's Ghost Bust, while we're dressed as Ghost Busters, we have... Oh. What the fuck? Oh, they're right here. There's someone by the fireplace, Connor. Should we check? Is there someone... Oh. Right next to me. Are you over here? Ooh, look at this. <laughs> Someone's in here. Specifically, that device only maps right here. So someone's in this little passageway. And they're going back and forth. Oh! 
All right, ghosts, you're toast. Also, we did want to show off some new devices that we got for this yeah. special occasion. All right, now, to come back to you. So, oh. Well, like I said, we have this new device right here. It's a REM pod. <laughs> yeah, but this guys is a fully custom built Ecto-1 REM pod that functions just the same as any other REM pod like this one. But instead of it's got the nice little Ghostbusters It's got the Ghostbusters theme. theme. We also have, over here, another REM pod. If we identify the spirit tonight, we are gonna use this Ghostbusters Ghost Trap REM pod. Check it out, guys. This is what they use in the film to capture the ghosts. And check it out. So if someone's here, we're gonna find them tonight. Oh! If you're here with us, what just made that other noise? This? Yeah. Are you sitting at the table right here? If you see this little square in the center of the table, come sit by it. This motion sensor is going crazy. If you see any of these lights near us. Oh, it's going off fast. Ooh. This one just went off again. Oh! Look at that one. This one's actually hitting right here. It's, dude, both of them are doing the same thing. Dene. It's like they're talking back and forth. Concentrate. Concentrate. If you're a ghost, we're not here to play games, all right? We would like to chat, we would like to hang out. And so, we're knocking. Who's here with us right now? This is one of the most haunted locations in New York City. This is the most haunted hotel in I mean, New York. From murders to it's so, all the above. I mean, just people that made really big impacts on the world staying at this very hotel. I mean, musicians, murders, people who took their own lives, natural deaths. Can we ask you to identify yourself now that you're here in the room with us? Give us your name. Um, I'm a little bit hot, if you're wondering. This is a lot of clothing to be wearing, but yes, I'm fine. How are you doing? That's my question to you. How do you feel this evening? Personally? I would like to talk to Sid Vicious. Sid or Nancy, are you here with us? I'm gonna turn this REM pod off, because we know that you're here. Ooh. Sid, is that you? I'm sad. I'm sad. I'm sad. Maybe it's the one who took her own life. 
Did you end your life here? Ooh. What's your name? War. 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 That woman, there's some wartime history here. Did you hear that? Coming from the, this area. No, not that after that. What? It's like, ah. from like behind me. Kinda, yeah. We are gathering energy. We are gathering energy. Oh. Well. We're here to speak to you tonight, so that's good. Why don't you take our energy and talk to us, all right? We're not here to harm you. We just would like to talk. Oh, did you hear that? What the f was that? Oh, did you hear that? What the f was that? Oh, did you hear that? What the f was that? Yo, what the f? Yo, actually though. That was coming from the f bedroom. Oh, look at that thing's going off. Yo, what the f was that? I don't like that either. If you're here, can you do that again? I'm kind of on edge. What the f? He got so quiet. That's eerie. All those red buds stopped. What's your name? Okay, you can continue to use that. Can you touch any of the red lights in this room? Like this. Or like this. Do you remember when Sid Vicious lived here? Are you over here? In the closet area? Oh, didn't it sound like a woman's voice? Well, the first one was like a grunt, and the second one was kind of like. Oh. Are you using the pot? I need more energy. You're taking a spooky dookie? <laughs> I need more energy. Me too. Anybody got some espresso? Yeah, hey, come on. Grab me up. Don't get too close to me. Oh! Dude, this is it really? <laughs> shit in here. <laughs> Sir, I'm really sorry to interrupt, all right? Yeah, spooky, spooky. Here, I'm gonna leave him alone to do that in there. I don't know if it's a he or a she. My but we do know it's a spooky dookie. <laughs> that was a loud noise. Which I'm trying not. Is this a. Guitar amp? Damn, this hotel is way too rich for me. Oh, shit. It's this woman again. Look at this. What the f? It's a f amp. Let's just ask you once. How are you in? Oh, dude. If this is where that no, those noises, oh, if this is where those noises came from. There is a ton of EM energy. Look at that. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, like a. Eh. <laughs> Listen to my voice. Also, that was really funny. Right when I felt do your thing. Went. <laughs> okay. Listen to my voice. Okay, we're gonna take out a, a toy that we have. All right. Hopefully, you can tell us your message, and we can listen to you. Started spiking right when I said that. DR60. Okay. 
Where? I say we sit down in here and do a DR60. Me too. There's a lot of energy in here though, man. Take a look at that. Also, people online, just take a mental look at this image. Ghostbusters costume, Ghostbusters toy. We went all out for this. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you're standing right over here. What the f man? Yeah, don't set that one off too much. We get copyrighted, right? Yeah, can we please refrain from using that device? <laughs> it looks cool, but we will get get our video removed. Well, that was f weird, wasn't it? You can see the light on it. So like flickering, like something's trying to make Satanic. Are we in a little bit over our heads on this investigation? If we are, can you make one of the devices go off? We're good for now. <laughs> Thank God. So right now we're gonna do a DR60 session. This is a device that listens to voices and noises in the environment and it cuts out the dead space between noises so you're only hearing the voices and the responses to your questions. So, to any spirit that may be in here in the room in the Hotel Chelsea, Sid Vicious, Mary, anybody else who may have taken their life or have had their life ended here in this cursed hotel, we invite you to come speak with us this evening and use your voice to communicate with us. You can also show us that you're here by touching any of the lights in the room. We will not hurt you. We just want to speak to you. Okay. Can you tell us your name? Did you die here? What's your favorite band? Where are you? Can you tell me the name of this hotel? Do you have good memories here or bad memories here? Can you tell me what year you died in? Okay, final question for now. Why do you hang out in this room?
tell me what year you died in? Okay, final question for now. Why do you hang out in this room? I thought, I swear to God, I heard the Beatles' favorite band. I don't know if I'm they fucking played tripping out. They again. I'm tripping out. And then what did you hear, 19-something? Like When you asked, what year did you die, I thought I heard 19-something. Listen really close, bro. Tell me if you're actually f***ing hearing this. Here, hold it up to your ear. seeing shadows over there so let me ask to whoever's in this room your favorite band is the Beatles <gasps> yes I'll take that as a yes your favorite band is the Beatles did you die in 1979 this thing's going crazy man Okay, so I'm gonna ask, if your favorite band was the Beatles, then what's your favorite Beatles song? Were you a celebrity? Do you enjoy your view of the Empire State Building every night? I sure do. Did you die here in 1979? How did you die? How many people are here with us right now? Have you ever seen the movie Ghostbusters? Do you like living here? Final question, are you trapped here?
Dude, a lot of responses that on that one. First, yes, if this thing likes the Beatles. This that spirit was loves the, the Beatles. Thing I think I've ever caught on the DR60. <laughs> Don't know that Beatles song. <laughs> so your favorite song is. <laughs> Twinkie. <laughs> uh, yeah, it didn't really make sense, but I had to throw it in. So what I'm gathering is the spirit is here. Seems like it liked this place. And its favorite band was the Beatles. Try it. Song is Let's do that one more time. Let's just see. Last last thing on DR60 before I move on. Okay, I'm gonna give you like a minute or two to gather some energy. Tell us your favorite Beatles song. We're just going to sit here and listen. Were you an artist? Were you killed here? I thought I heard Imagine Which is almost It's a John Lennon song So they're kind of correct But you heard Strawberry Fields I'm going to listen again That's fucking trippy Like a minute or two To gather some energy Tell us your favorite Beatles song We're just going to sit here and listen I heard no. Okay, f this. I gotta listen to this whole. There's a lot of voices in here. Mm -hmm. Voices going, hey. No. Do you hear that? Yeah. It's straight up like, Wait, hey. It's in the middle of that thing. Yeah, it's I'm like, hey. There's like a lot of voices in this. I know, but it's like, that's like one of us. Like, hey. Almost sounds like hanged. I'm telling you, I hear strawberry beer.
That's very, very weird. weird. Hmm. Well, this ghost seems chill. I mean, the fox with the Beatles. I like the Beatles. Not really scary. No, but it is weird. I mean, there's a lot of bad shit that's happened in this hotel. This yeah, hotel doesn't have the best history. No. I think the only way that we can actually figure this out, though, is to do an Estes. Mm -hmm. You want to do one? Yeah. Let's do it. What the f was that? Yo, Endo. <laughs> what the f was that? Can turn here? Oh! What's that here? What the f this? What the f? No, where the f would that come from? No f way this is the sound we just heard. I'm not touching it. By the way, film this. You got the better camera. Okay, because it wasn't a sound from the shower. It sound, did it not sound like something fell? Yeah. In here? Which we haven't even, we haven't used the restroom here. So it's like, God, I wish we had a fucking camera in here. Tell me, does this sound like it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh f What the f was that? What the f was that? What the f was that? If you're in here, can you do something like that again? Can you make another noise? If you want to move that again, you can. That's fucking crazy, bro. That's actually wild. I mean, I'm not gonna 100% say paranormal. Maybe it, I don't even know where it would be sitting. Yeah, wouldn't it be sitting like here? Or like up here? I mean, it wouldn't be sitting near the edge of this thing. No. Well, we're gonna leave this here. Maybe it's telling you you need to take a shower. You need to take a shower. I said it first. Thank you. <laughs> All right, that's this time. Hey everybody, it's Colin here. Thank you for watching today's video. Hello to all the new subscribers and hello to the rest of our beautiful, wonderful, spooky family. As you know, every single week here on the channel, we give away a free gift bag to one lucky viewer of the show. And this week to enter the contest, all you have to do is like today's video, let's smash that like button and comment Ghostbusters in the comments section below. I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to do this now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. So go comment, you can comment multiple times. It helps the video so much. But anyways, let's get back to today's video. Thank you for listening to my little spiel. I love you guys so much and stay spooky. Okay, so I'm sitting on the bed right now. We're gonna try to contact whoever we've been talking to. I don't know exactly who it would be. We haven't gotten a name, nothing really specific, but we do know that somebody or something is here they love the Beatles, and they may have been an artist or something like that. So I'm going to do the Estes method. This is where you blindfold yourself. You put on these noise-canceling headphones. Connor's going to ask questions, and uh, we're going to try to get to the bottom of this. You ready? Let's go. Can you tell me who's with us right now? Died of prescription? Ooh. I'm fantastic. Did you overdose in the building? Supposedly. What's your name? Bug. Dirt. Can you tell me where you are right now? Everywhere. 
Are you stuck in this building? Died there. You died in this building? Third. Then I heard, ah. Oh. You're wasting time. And then I. <gasps> I really want to know who I'm talking to right now. Can you tell me? Jesus. Don't believe this is. You don't know me. I don't believe this is Jesus. Can you tell the me stars what... are shining. Can you tell me what your real name is? The queen is dead. Yeah? Ha ha ha. She did die. Can you tell me when you died here? What year? Heroin. You died of a heroin overdose? Can you tell me what year you died? Star Wars. Oh. That's not a year. Eh. Do you like... Let it be. Let it be? Is this John Lennon? I know that John Lennon used to stay here a while back. What a chump. You don't like John Lennon? Mother f He's a tricky dick. That's fine. I don't really know much. I'm innocent, man. I don't really know much about John Lennon. I don't know how tricky he was. I hit out for a bit. Can you tell me more about you? Why are you here? I went down into the black hole. What's the black hole? I hurt my someone special. Dude, these are full sentences, man. Whatever you're asking. You hurt your someone special? Did you kill someone? Da -da -da. Piss off. Why don't you like me talking to you? Do you like this I'm building? I'm just over it. Do you like this building? Do you enjoy being here? You got AIDS. First, let me tell you. I do You're not. You're a sucker. Well, I do not have AIDS. Nor am One I. One minute. Nor am I. Hey. No, uh, you're Russian, man. Why are you just being... shut up? Why are you the British being... accent? Shut up. Why are you being so rude? I haven't done it. I hate John Lennon. <laughs> Yo, I hate John Lennon. Who Weird is this? Weird shit that we talked about that. Who is this? Why are you hiding? You know who you are. Who doesn't? Tell me your name. I'm just bored. Can you tell me what your name is? <clears throat> the squid. The squid? What does that mean? Ah, why? I broke her wrist. You know, you really had to be there. Oh. I was sorry. Did you kill someone? Yeah, I mean, sorta. Of. Already it was more than I could handle. Do you not know what you did? Satan told me to. He told you to kill someone? Again, I'm gonna ask, what's your name? I wanna know exactly Just who Just bug I'm, off. I wanna know who I'm talking to. Who are you? I got none. Dude, there's so many voices. And they're all different. There's like an English guy, a woman, an older man. How many people are here Mary. right now? What the f***? How many people are here right now? They're all waiting down there. What did you, what did you say? Can you tell me what floor we should go to? There's a yellow knob. He's a really good cameraman. Why, thank you. I appreciate it. The price to pay. You don't believe me, huh? <laughs> I'm right behind you, man. Get me some weed. <laughs> I can't do that right now. We're gonna get out of here soon. 
Is there anything you want to tell us? Light me a smoke. Ha! <laughs> Give me some weed. Light me a smoke. Is there anything you want to tell us? Whatever this thing is, is a fucking cool person, I guess. I don't know what you're asking, but... Is there anything you want to tell us before we leave tonight? Just don't die. I'm going to try my best. <laughs> We're Wait. always here. Do you think you'll ever get out of this building? Here's a song I wrote about killing people. <laughs> what? All right, well, I'm going to pull Colin out. This is your last chance to say something to him. Fuck your mother. Let me sleep. All right. I think I will. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. God. Holy fuck. That seemed like kind of quick. Oh. Anything? Yeah. I mean... There's a British a guy lot that's of very voices. vulgar. Yeah, a lot of voices. A British guy. Fuck your mother. Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Which, it's a radio, so I don't think they would be playing. What's going on? Yeah, there's the REM pod went off multiple times right behind me. The green, the actual REM pod? Yeah. Nice. Weird. I can't tell what we're dealing with in this room. No, I mean, it seems like it's a like combination. Because, I mean... We're hearing like, what's your favorite band? The Beatles over here. And then over here, someone's like, fuck John Lennon. Ha, <laughs> that's true. That is weird, actually. Yeah. Totally different energy. So it's like multiple different people uh, don't know necessarily what they want or if they even want us to be here. But it seems like just a bunch of different, very distinct spirits. Yeah. 100%. That are all here in the hotel. Luckily, we didn't have to bust any of them. Thank God. But we did hunt. Also, I was hearing like footsteps, kind of like all around me too. Really? Mm-hmm. He's right behind me. He's isn't standing he? right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> <clears throat> all right. All right, man. Well, you should go step outside for a second and leave me in here alone. Okay. I feel like I have an experiment I want to do. All right. Work for you? Yeah. Let's do it. So Connor is out in the hallway right now. I'm here alone. I'm about to do an experiment in here. I'm just trying to see if anybody here in the Hotel Chelsea will come talk to me when I'm alone. Okay, really quickly, if there's anybody here, can you say something to me? Hello? Don't worry guys, it's just me. <laughs> Got you suckers. <laughs> Wait, put that shit on. <laughs> Go, I'm out there. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, this is the dumbest purchase we've ever made. We. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> that is some funny ass shit, man. Wow, you didn't last long in there, did you? Nope. This is not me, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Now I'm by myself. We've had a very scary night here at the Chelsea Hotel. Honestly, some really cool evidence, but all in all, very, very scary, creepy night. The f is that sound? What the hell? Shit. That's a big Twinkie. <laughs> 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 huh? What the hell are we?
are we doing? <laughs> what the f am I doing? Look at this. How much this weighs? You gotta lay off the twinkies, buddy. Let's f him lay off the marshmallows, baby. Let's go.